Okay, best friends, so you guys remember this wig I showed you a couple of videos back. Well, today I'm going to show you guys how I take care of my wigs to make them last over a year. So if you want to see, keep on watching. Okay, so you guys already know how I feel about silicone mix. I think this is a gem when it comes to extensions and wigs and things of that nature. I do not use this on my natural hair whatsoever. That's a no-go because I don't like silicones on my natural hair. So, you're also going to need some clear cellophane. And this is by Adore. Um, I don't know any other brand that has a clear gloss like this. But... This is just like the colors that they have. It's just clear, okay? And I do use this. I do use that product on my natural hair because it gives my hair luster, especially since I'm natu natural. Especially since I'm natural, um, I, my hair tends to look dull, and I find that my weaves look dull, especially if I have them for a while. So this is just going to show you how to take care of your wigs and like keep them for over a year. So basically I'm going to just put half of the silicone mix into an empty container because I'm making a bigger batch because of the fact that I use it a lot. But I'm only doing half because I want to keep half of the cellophane because I'm doing another video showing you guys how I take care of my natural hair. So I'm going to pour half of the cellophane bottle into um the silicone mix and I'm gonna mix it together all right it looks like a purple tint but it's not a purple tint coming out of that box I'm, I'm telling you it's clear I think it's just the bottle that make is making it look purpley-ish or whatever but it's it's definitely clear so it's gonna turn into like this really liquid state and that's exactly how you want it you just want to it doesn't matter the, the levels just mix cellophane and the silicone mix together okay that's it so this is the wig i took it off i was wearing it for a couple of days and i just want to wash it and revitalize it and detangle it detangle it because i did i was sleeping in it so i did use got to be to adhere this wig so i am going to use warm water to remove the got to be residue off the wigs no you do not need to scrub it no you don't need to use alcohol got to be is a water-based product and if you use warm water it'll dissolve off of it all right so i'm making sure that the wig is he highly saturated with water and i'm going in with my garnier fruities and i am going to shampoo this wig i'm going to focus on the lace right now just to make sure that all the residue and everything is off of the wig and i'm being gentle where the lace is and the baby hair is because you don't because this wig is bleached and I do not want to call it excessive shedding, okay? So, you do not have to worry about detangling right now because when you go in with the silicone and cellophane mix, it, your wig is just going to detangle on its own. I promise you that. But, um, yeah, so I wash my wigs twice just to make sure all the debris and all the extra product that I be using is out of the wig. And just making sure that all the got to be is off the lace, alright? So you just make sure you you lather it up. You don't have to focus on combing it right now because you're going to comb it in a second. So when, before you use your silicone mix, make sure you wring out all the excessive water out of the wig because of the fact that um, silicone mix has a lot of slip and if you add the product onto extremely wet hair it's just going to fall off the wig because of the slip all right now um silicone mix is a great product especially when you're using using it on your wigs and things like that because it's a great detangler and it's a great deep penetrating conditioner okay conditioning treatment now i like to use this clear cellophane on my hair because of the fact that it's a high gloss, all right? So, yeah, it's a it's kind of like a color additive, but it doesn't have color. It's adding shine. So, if you ever, like, you saw yourself bleaching, or if you have ever bleached, you know, some hair, and you use Adore semi-permanent colors, and you deposited colors on there, and you found that the hair was highly conditioned after that, and it wasn't dry, that's because Adore is a conditioning color treatment. It's not a stripping color treatment. There's no... Like, um, you don't have to add any chemicals to it to deposit this particular color to your hair. So, it, all it does is just 
give you shine and deposit a temporary color before it fades away. So this, that's what I like about it because when you have your wigs and your weaves for a while, it tends to look dull. So you want to give back that moisture, you want to give back that shine. So that's what it, I'm doing right here. And I'll leave this concoction on my wigs for about an hour or longer, just depending on my time. And I like to let my hair air dry after that. So this is my wig, and it's hot. Look, look, look at the luster on that. That is not the water. That is the, the that is the mixture that I put on this wig, and it's just super, super shiny. And so basically, what is this is just doing is you know just making sure that your wig is just you know highly conditioned. A lot of people be like, my wig is tangling and it's not lasting, and that's because your wig is not conditioned. I would recommend to do this twice. A month okay um, because you just want to just make sure that you're giving your hair the moisture that it needs if you're natural and you want your hair to be more shiny I would say just go ahead and deep condition with your regular products that you use and then go in with your cellophane okay just to, just to clear cellophane so I would say use your clear cellophane first and then deep condition which are deep conditioning products, but I do not recommend using silicone mix on your natural hair. All right, only on your wigs, girls. All right. So yeah, this is what my wig looks like after she's dried. She's very soft. She smells amazing, and the luster on it is totally bomb. So let me know if you guys try this method or if you have tried this method down in the comment section, and I'll be back with another one. Thank you, Guy Rue, for sending me this hair. She was amazing. Hey.